Hello, I'm Amanda of Inspiring Inkin. Thank you so much for joining me today. This video, I am going to be talking all about titles and journaling in scrapbooking. If you're new to scrapbooking, titles, that kind of makes sense. But what's journaling? So my plan over the course of this video is just to talk to you about both of those things and why they're so important and to kind of give you a couple of examples um, of pages that I've made and uh, to show you the importance of titles and journaling. So if you're watching this video, chances are you are new to scrapbooking or you are interested in adding scrapbooking to your world. And for me, scrapbooking is about capturing memories for people to be able to read and know um, about the, the photographs and the images that are contained within the scrapbook. So in order for somebody to understand what a photo is and who the photo is about, you need both a title and some journaling. Titles can be as simple as the name of a place, 50th birthday, the name of a person, the name of an event, um, the, the place that you stayed at, the place you went on holiday at. But they need to, to stand out. They need to explain what the page is about. And then journaling after the photos is the most important thing you can put on a scrapbook page. Absolutely, without a doubt. Journaling is key. Journaling is vital. I am sure you have looked at photos and you don't know who the people are in a, in a photograph. Journaling is the thing that will make sure that you know all of the important information about that photograph and it captures the memory. Now, I prefer, I personally prefer handwriting journaling. So I use a, um, a Stampin' Up marker, actually, a black marker usually, and I do my journaling as a general rule by hand. And that's for several reasons. Firstly, because it's a record of my handwriting. Um, but also, it just means I'm, I'm not thinking too much about the memory. I am just capturing the important things as I'm thinking about them. Now, if your handwriting is difficult for people to read, then, or you've got a huge amount of information <laughs> that you want to get into um, a scrapbook page, then, you know, think about typewritten um, journaling as well, or, you know, printed, uh, not typewritten, obviously, we're not back in the 90s. Um, <laughs> <laughs> a, you know, a Word document and, and print it out. Just make sure that the paper is acid and lignum free and the ink is also acid free. Um, and then you can do that. But somewhere in your albums, do a little bit of handwriting so people can see your handwriting. So journaling captures the memory and your title explains it. So the best way I can kind of give you an example is I have two um, scrapbook pages here. These are scrapbook pages from a very, very long time ago. My, these are my children when they were very small. So here is uh, my first a 12 by 12 scrapbook page. Um, this photograph was actually taken in 2001. It's my daughter's first day at school. And this page has all the things on it that are really important for scrapbooking. So we've got a title and the title is basically saying this is where Kimberly went to school. 
and obviously her photo is front and center and then there is a little bit of journaling here and the journaling says who the photo is it explains when it was and why it was important so that covers everything that you need for a scrapbooking page and obviously this is a single page you um if you are working on a double page layout so you've actually got two pages that um go together let me just grab two pages here bear with me oh if you've got a double page layout like this then your title and your journaling can go on one or other of the, the pages because it is clear that they are a cohesive set of pages. But because this is just an independent page all of its own, everything is on that one page. Now, in contrast, this second page is a lovely page. It was It was done probably... 20 years ago. <laughs> and um, this has so many elements on it. You're going to see this actually in, a, in a, another video as well. So many elements on it that make it a great page. But where's the title? And where's the journaling? So the photo is actually of my children. They were growing sunflowers for a sunflower competition, actually. Um, I can't actually tell you what year it was. I can probably work it out by the ages of the children, but I couldn't for certain tell you where it was. I know where it was because I recognized the garden. But nobody else probably would know that. So, yes, this is lovely got stamping, it's patterned paper, it's got punched uh, elements, die cut elements, got lots of good stuff going for it. But without a title and without journaling, it's just a pretty page. And scrapbooking is so much more than that. It's about capturing memories for generations to come. So I hope that has given you a little bit of information about titles and journaling and why they're important. Um, do please check out the rest of the videos in this series so uh, you can get started with your scrapbooking. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.